tick saliva could cure heart disease. Tick bites are annoying and sometimes dangerous as they may lead to serious illness. However, a new study shows that proteins found in tick saliva could also be used to treat a particular heart disease. Myocarditis is a disease that causes inflammation and damage of the heart muscle and typically affects young adults. When the heart becomes infected with a common virus, it releases chemicals called chemokines, which attract cells that cause inflammation. The heart muscle becomes dangerously inflamed and patients with severe cases would need heart transplants. Tick saliva can contain up to 3,000 proteins, known as evasins, depending on their species. Evasins allow them to feed on blood without causing inflammation, thus making their bites almost unnoticeable. One evasin found in the cayenne tick can bind to and neutralize chemokines to prevent inflammation. This could also potentially prevent myocarditis disease. Although the development of adding the tick protein to actual drugs still has a long way to go, scientists believe this method could be used to cure heart disease, stroke, pancreatitis, and even arthritis. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Ticks are known to carry a variety of pathogens. Some are deadly. Beware of the tick. Ticks are typically out from spring through summer and early fall, but 2017 is particularly bad, and here's why. The northeastern U.S. had a warmer winter, which means more ticks survived and made a whole bunch of baby bloodsuckers. There's also been an increase in the number of deer and other woodland creatures, which ticks typically rely on as food sources. Oh, and don't forget the exploding mice population across the northeastern United States. More rodents to act as hosts. Fun! So here are the problems you might encounter and some ways to combat them. People living in areas affected by Lyme disease should check their bodies daily for ticks. And if you do find one, don't panic. Using tweezers, carefully remove the tick by pulling its mouth out of the skin. Do not squeeze the tick's body, as this can cause the contents of its stomach to burst onto the skin. Also, don't use petroleum jelly or smoke to remove it. Check with the Centers for Disease Control if Lyme disease is a problem in your area. Save the tick for lab testing, monitor your health, and if you develop symptoms of Lyme disease, consult a doctor. The Powassan virus is a potentially life-threatening virus transmitted by ticks, including the deer tick. The virus can infect everyone, including children, teenagers, middle-aged people, and the elderly. Although most people will not develop symptoms, the virus kills about 15% of those who do. Meanwhile, some 50% of survivors will suffer long-term neurological damage. Others will experience symptoms similar to those of the flu, including fevers and headaches. Experts warn about the spread of the Powassan virus. Health experts are warning about the potential increase in the spread of a disease called the Powassan virus this summer. Warmer winters have reportedly increased the population of ticks, which spread the disease. The Powassan virus is a potentially life-threatening virus transmitted by ticks, including the deer tick. The virus can infect everyone, including children, teenagers, middle-aged people, and the elderly. Although most people will not develop symptoms, the virus kills about 15% of those who do. Meanwhile, some 50% of survivors will suffer long-term neurological damage. Others will experience symptoms similar to those of the flu, including fevers and headaches. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there are no vaccines to prevent transmission of the virus or medications to cure it. Whatever you do, don't squeeze that tick. Oh joy. Thanks to an exploding mice population across the northeastern United States, this year looks like it's going to be a bumper one for the ticks that the rodents play host to. For those that don't know, ticks carry Lyme disease, which gives us humans rashes, swollen lymph nodes, and all sorts of other nasty symptoms. People living in areas affected by Lyme disease should check their bodies daily for ticks. And if you do find one, don't panic. Using tweezers, carefully remove the tick by pulling its mouth out of the skin. Do not squeeze the tick's body, as this can cause the contents of its stomach to burst onto the skin. Also, don't use petroleum jelly or smoke to remove it. Check with the Centers for Disease Control if Lyme disease is a problem in your area. Save the tick for lab testing, monitor your health, and if you develop symptoms of Lyme disease, consult a doctor. 
Around 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported in the U.S. each year, but health officials believe the true number to be 10 times that. So to avoid becoming another statistic, watch out for the little critters that spread the disease and know that Tomo News has got your back. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Oklahoma woman loses all her limbs after tick bite. An Oklahoma woman had to have all four of her limbs amputated after a tick bite that led to the worst case of Rocky Mountain spotted fever that doctors had ever encountered. Rocky Mountain spotted fever is a tick-borne illness caused by a bacterium known as Rickettsia rickettsi. Doctors think that Oklahoma woman Jo Rogers may have been bitten by a carrier tick as she visited Grand Lake in the northeast of the state during a vacation in July. Four days later, Rogers thought she had caught a severe flu and was taken to hospital where she was tested for life-threatening diseases such as West Nile virus and meningitis. When all the tests came back negative, Rogers' doctors decided to amputate all four of her limbs to stop the infection from spreading to her vital organs. The symptoms of Rocky Mountain spotted fever include a fever, rash, nausea and muscle pain. It can be treated with antibiotics within five days of an infection. Rogers' doctors fear that more surgeries will be needed if the amputations fail to stop the infection from spreading.